create a very simple form using Google form to collect the data using uh, the online methodology lah ataupun online method. So the first of all, you might want to log in into your Google account. You already log in into your Google account. Okay, this is the example that I already uh, log in into my Google account. So after you log in into your Google account, you might want to create a specific table for you. Eh? You go for the drive and then you go for the new and then go for the new table and uh, a new folder, sorry. And then proceed with the creations of the new folder. Okay, please do it now. After you create those new folder, please open up those folder uh, in front of your eye. Something like this lah. So, it's going to be my drive and the name of your folder that you are uh, created just now. So, dia dah boleh pergi kepada next step lah. So, we are going to uh, begin the step number two eh. The step number one just now, go into this button uh, on the Google after you log in eh. Example lah, after you log in into any Google account that you have. Whether it is a government Google account or your personal Google account, it will be something like this. And then go into these nine boxes. And after that, click those boxes and then select the drive. After you select the drive, the drive are going to be open something like this. And then you have this um, appearance. And then you go for the new. You go for the new and then you click the new folder icon. So the new folder icon are going to be appear uh, as a pop-up menu. And then ask you to rename the folder. So please rename the folder as you wish. So I already renamed my folder. And then after you rename your folder, please double click on that particular folder so that you can go dive in into that uh, empty folder. Okay, done or not? Done eh? Done, done, dem. Bunyi merchant. Okay, after done, then close lah. So, I actually uh, already construct this kind of uh, question eh. So, saya akan buat yang sama lah. Cuma saya akan tunjukkan cara tu macam mana nak buat ya. Yeah? Okay, so this is the empty folder that you created just now. And then go to the new. And then go to the Google form. And then proceed with the blank form. Okay, done or not done? Okay, pergi kepada um, new, pergi kepada Google Form, pergi kepada blank form. Dah sudah? Dah ya? After that, jangan pergi macam saya je. Pergi dan klik lah ya. Eh. Kalau pergi je, lepas tu buat apa? Lepas tu buat apa? Klik lah ya. Eh. Nah, macam ni. Kalau saya kata pergi tu, maksudnya tuan-tuan pun kena klik. Jangan pergi je. Saya dah pergi dah. Tapi tak ada apa. Sebab awak tak klik lagi. Kena klik lah. Ha, okay. Dah klik, maka dia akan keluar something like this. Untitled form. Correct or not? Okay. And then you are going to specify as follows lah. Study of stress and um, environment, environment and uh, demo. Uh, macam itulah. So, this is the example for the study of stress and also environment and demographic stat, uh, status. Okay, done? Done or not done? Done, done, dem. Bunyi marchan. So, the example... Uh, of any question A, so usually we have a lot of um, section. So the first section will be demographic, and then the second one will be the environment, and then the third one will be the stress level. Something like that. Eh? This is the example of the structure of your question A. So where to find out the section? So the section will be available here. Add section. Can you find the section over here? Okay, go to the section. Okay, you have the section 1, you have the section 2. Okay, we are going to create at least three sections. Okay, you create it already? Okay, I create already section 1, section 2, section 3. And then perhaps you can add one more, which is section number 4. Why we need four sections? Because the first one is more on the consent. Lah. Consent. Consent. Yeah. Okay. After you uh, put some consent word over here, then you are going to change the checkbox into the multiple choice grid. Okay. I made a repetition. Eh. First of all, Go to your uh, blank folder. I'm going to remove it and then make a repetition. So this is your blank folder. The first step, go to your new, go to the Google form, followed by the blank form. That is the first, uh, that is the first step. After that, name your form. Okay. Environment and demo with stress. After you name your form, then you are going to a request for development of the four section by clicking this button. Ni, add section. Ni. Okay. Section number one, after you click, it will make available of section number one, section number two, and then followed by the another one, section number three, 
and then click another one which is the section number four okay finish after that go to the section number one when you click the section number one over here on the top right side um, on the name of this section it is going to be appear this menu the first one is add question menu followed by the import question tiles images add videos and something like that go to the first one which is the add question click those add question okay it will be something like this done or not okay after you click add question then the first one we are going to make a consent page so you put that as a consent consent so the reason of the consent page is to enable the respondent or future prospect to become our study group whether they agree or not to join our group right and then change the checkbox into multiple choices after you change the multiple choice into the uh, multiple choices kind of questions you are being prompt into this kind of options lah. so the first one is yes the second one is no okay done already follow or not follow follow eh consent and then change into the multiple choice and then you just put over there yes and no okay after that you can click the down here as required required means it is must be answered if you not answer it then it will not begin collecting the data from you okay done after done that you are going to click this three dots these three dots have more options that enable us to do so so you have the description you have this shuffle and so on okay go for the first one which is the description okay description you can write something lah please indicate that you agree to join our study based on the above statement i am agree to participate ini hanya terpakai this is the methodology that are required especially for medical and health science because you need to retrieve a consent based on the nmirr nm i NMRR ataupun MI, uh, MREC and those uh, ethical requirement eh? ethical requirement dia kena cakap kan what is the consent, what is the PIS patient information sheet, something like that eh? so you are going to describe something lah uh, they study uh, aim to bla 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 okay, the consent the consent form is uh, can be found here can be found here Okay, the PIS are made available here. Uh, apa maksud saya made available here and so on? Maknanya anda boleh letakkan hyperlink. You are going to put some hyperlink over there so that if the people want to read more about your MREC, your ethical clearance, your um, approval, kan? Sometimes orang takkan bagi information senang-senang tau. Sebab selagi tak dapat surat ataupun tak dapat kebenaran yang sebenar. If you did not get the good permission so please do it so in the first thing otherwise people will not cooperate and give their um, contributions to your research so the consent for me is very crucial lah for medical and health science okay and now when you clearly say something some, something like this and then you are going to attach some sort of document or whatsoever you can practice by yourself example eh you can practice by yourself tu maksudnya anda boleh tekan butang here ni contoh anda tekan butang here ni anda boleh pergi ke dekat insert link ni anda can put some link lah so link dekat sini ni anda boleh pergi kan somewhere lah contoh lah saya letak link that are associated with my uh, consent contoh uh, surat kebenaran contoh eh tapi saya letak dekat ilkkmsb je lah eh ilkkmsb.edu.my ni contoh lah i just I put some indicator over here so maknanya when the people view my form then they can read if they want. Uh, sometimes, um, patient are quite naive. Eh? Bila you cakap apa pun, they follow je. Some people are quite intelligent that they do not want to answer and give responses unless they know that this is a scientific study that have the ethical clearance. Eh? So, please bear that in mind. Lah. If you want to put video, also can. Eh? Contoh kan, you want to put some video, you can just put the video over here. But remember, this video must be your video. If you want to use the other people's video, make sure that you obtain the appropriate uh, copyright or permission accordingly eh? uh, jangan you pakai video orang tanpa permission lah 
Okay, selepas you dah buat consent ni tadi, if you can see over here, we have another option on the um, below right corner, uh, beside the required button, that we have go to the section base. Nampak tak? Go to the section base. Okay, then you can go for the go for the section base ni, and then you can specify lah where they need to go. Example kan, if, he, if the personnel click the yes button, then they will proceed to the next section lah, which is the section number 2. Okay. If they declare that there is no, then they will submit the form lah. That's mean they are not agree to participate. Okay, this is the based on the section. Itu sebab you buat section tadi, section 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, sometimes you might want to do this to filter in the beginning part of your study. Okay, contoh ini terpakai juga dalam bab, kalau you ingat, I talk about the variable just now, we have the control variable. So, when the people write something, 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 then you know that this is not eligible to become your members ataupun your study group. Then you might want to exclude them in the first place. So, this is your passion that you need to treat as uh, as soon as possible, as good as you can whatsoever, never mind. But the reason is you are not include them inside your study because they are not suitable for my inclusion criteria. So, that is also a very good approach to filter in the first place. Itu dipanggil sebagai control the co-founders. Sebab you dah buat filtration daripada design lagi. Ini contoh je lah. More advanced on that. You buat tanya kepada pecara-pecara yang lain juga ya. Okay, the next section will be the demographic. You are going to specify as demographic. Okay, the next one on the section 3, I'm going to specify the name of this section as the environment. And then the next one, the last which is the fourth section, I'm going to talk about the stress level. So, this is the example of my structure. Are you clear? Clear, not clear, crystal clear, not very crystal, but clear enough to understand? I think it's clear enough lah to understand. So now, let's begin on the first part which is the demographic. On the demographic, you are going to click the plus signs over here on the top right uh, menu uh, of the each of the section. You have the add question over here. You can write something to do with the gender lah kan. Mula-mula kita tanya gender dulu kan, lelaki ke perempuan. Okay, betul kan? So we are going to specify as male. And then we are going to specify as fe female. So this is the example. You might want to uh, make it required as this is very important questions to ask them. And then you are going to uh, go for the plus sign over here or you can duplicate. Eh? In my professional experience, usually I just go for duplicate lah because uh, I know what I want to ask and I understand already the structure. So I'm going to ask about the next one which is the race. So the race consists of Malay, example, Chinese, Okay, and then we have the Indian, and then we have the others. Eh? Uh, others uh, is actually uh, Bumi lah, Bumi Putra. Okay, others Bumi Putra, and then the last one is actually international lah, eh? international. Example lah kan. Kadang-kadang uh, ada orang buat kajian passion dia adalah international passion eh, atau orang luar negara eh. Okay, dah sudah, dah sudah, belum sudah. Ataupun nak saya pause dulu, saya nak, nak jimat masa, so saya akan habiskan, lepas tu kita rehat lah, berapa habis pun tak takpelah, nanti kita rehat accordingly. So next is actually umur, so umur ni saya akan biar dia bukan sebagai multiple choice, I'm going to tell you later on, saya akan buat dia sebagai short answer, and I'm going to specify here lah, umur, umur ni anda kena tulis lah, umur ni apa dalam description eh, ha. please uh, masukkan, masukkan umur dalam bentuk tahun. And then, inside the short answer ni, anda boleh buat algorithm tau. Ataupun boleh buat specification. Example eh. Tengok ni. Contoh saya boleh klik tiga butang ni. Saya tukar mula-mula tadi sebagai short answer. Now, saya boleh letak sebagai response validation. So, under response validation ni, saya boleh buat number is number. Maknanya apa? Dia mesti masukkan nombor sahaja. Sila masukkan nombor sahaja. Kadang-kadang orang ni dia tak faham bahasa. Kita kata umur dalam tahun dia tulis 25 tapi dia tulis juga perkataan tahun. Kadang-kadang dia tak faham bahasa juga. Kita nak dalam tahun dia tulis dekat situ 25. Dia tulis perkataan. Sedangkan kita nak dia typekan nom nombor. Jadi kebijaksanaan manusia yang pelbagai ini tuan-tuan dan perlu raikan dengan membuat penyetingan kepada benda-benda yang berkenaan eh. So finish already. So, next is the educational status. Eh? Okay, next is the education. Saya akan bagi secara agak pantas. Education. Education ni adalah contoh data dalam bentuk multiple choice. Betul tak? Okay, multiple choice. So, I'm going to disregard the description over here but uh, only specify here as the UPSR. 
Okay, PMR. Okay, SPM. Okay, higher education. Higher education. Okay. Last kali is no formal education. Contohlah, no formal education. Okay, finish. And then another one will be the um, working experience. Contoh, eh, working experience. Sorry, eh, sorry. Ni kajian ni tadi pasal apa? Stress di kalangan half care, betul? Jarang half care tak ada formal education. Jarang half care ada UPSR saja. Possible ke tak? Saya buat pasal RNR ke half care tadi? Nah, healthcare biarlah kan sebab ada yang daripada UPSR kan PPK dan sebagainya kan contohlah ok um, lepas tu working experience so working experience I'm going to spell it under the years lah so uh, please indicate your working experience experience uh, years ok so I'm going to go for the response validation So, response validation is number. Number is number. Please type as number. Okay. So, this is the example. Working experience. Uh, kemudian, kita ada education. Kita ada umur. Lagi apa lagi, tuan-tuan dan perempuan? Kita akan masukkan lagi satu. Sebab ini demografi biasa sahaja. Uh, Cukup lah kot. Eh? Cukup lah. Ini je lah yang saya akan tanya. Okay. Sebagai example lah. Okay. Dan... Dan eh? Boleh ke tak boleh? Okay, kalau dah siap ya, maka kita boleh pergi kepada section yang kedua. Section yang kedua ni, saya akan tulis dua sahaja soalan. Soalan yang pertama adalah mengenai uh, kualiti udara. Sorry eh, ada setengah bahasa Melayu, ada setengah Inggeris saya nak segera ni. Jadi saya akan just uh, go at the robust manner lah eh. Kualiti udara. Uh, so I'm going to go for the description. Please choose the level of air quality based on the following sorry eh saya tak buat multiple choice eh sorry saya minta maaf saya buat multiple choice grid multiple choice grid ni saya akan tulis kat sini please choose the level of environmental condition okay based on the following scale S-C-A-L-E, scale eh. So, kat sini adalah kita panggil sebagai environment. Okay. Dah siap? Belum siap eh. Belum siap ke? Anda lost dah kan? Ya, yeah, itu yang saya nak sebenarnya. Um, selepas dah lost tu, kita akan pergi kepada environment ni. Contohlah, saya akan buat kat sini air quality. Okay, kat sini saya akan buat lighting. Lighting, L-I-G-T-H-I-N-G. Lighting. Lepas tu saya akan buat kat sini apa lagi? Uh, air flow Okay, kat sini sebagai Air temperature Okay, lepas tu yang kelima Ni saya ada yang terakhir Yang kelima apa? Yang kelima adalah uh, nah, Noise Contohlah Noise Noise level Okay So kita akan ada buat Nanti dia akan tanda tau Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima Something like to do with the lighted scale lah And then we are going to score it accordingly So saya akan buat skala Sebab saya kata with the following scale kan So, skala ni saya akan buat dekat mana? Dekat word. Ha. Tak apa, biar, biar, biar awak semua lost. Tak apa, memang itu yang saya nak. OJT dia memang biar lost dulu. Sebab saya nak rekodkan je. Sekejap lagi, saya publish this video and then you can try do by your own. Lepas tu, saya boleh rehat lah kan. Masa awak tengah rehat tadi, saya tunggu kan. Lepas ni, awak pula tunggu, saya rehat sekejap eh. <laughs> okay, dekat sini anda boleh letak level. Example kan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, kat sini anda akan tulis very poor. Ataupun bad lah. Kemudian anda akan tulis bad, apa nama, poor ataupun bad, very poor ataupun very bad. Okay, ni contoh lah, ni contoh. Nanti saya akan ulang balik, jangan risau, saya akan ulang balik. Poor atau bad, yang ni adalah uh, moderate, yang ni adalah good, okay, very good. Okay, this is the example eh, saya punya Likert scale, nampak tak? Likert scale ini saya akan gunakan untuk apa? Untuk memberi maklum kepada orang untuk tanda nanti. Satu sampai lima. Sorry, ini bukan Likert scale. Ini bukan Likert scale. Ini adalah Likert light scale. Sebab dia tak sangat setuju ataupun setuju eh. Dia bukan. Dia adalah lebih kepada macam very poor, very bad. So, saya gunakan Likert scale tapi saya ubah mengikut kesesuaian level saya. So, I might want to update the condition lah. So, very poor and very bad are going to be uh, colored as red color for example. 
and then followed by the another color uh, which is uh, perhaps a little bit orange here and then this one is a little bit yellow and then this one a little bit uh, blue okay blue and then the very good one are going to be indicated as green lah okay this is the example eh okay dah siap maka saya akan uh, screenshot ha, nanti sebab saya kalau nak cerita ni saya kena ajar awak screenshot awak pun mungkin first time dengar perkataan screenshot ni macam mana nak buat screenshot tu betul tak ha, so dia akan ambil masa sikit tak apa saya tunjuk je dulu so I'm going to insert those gambar yang saya buat tadi dekat Microsoft Word ke dalam saya punya Google Form so apa yang akan jadi screenshot ini boleh digunakan untuk memberi skala kepada saya punya respondent and then my respondents are going to be easily understand what kind of perceptions that they want to enter. So they can enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, something like that eh. Nampak kan? This is the example. Okay, last kali adalah stress level. So stress level ni for your information ladies and gentlemen are consist of 21 question based on the DASS. Siapa pernah jawab DASS? Kalau anda tak pernah jawab ni maksudnya anda adalah orang yang tak pernah stress sepanjang hidup lah. Memang hebat lah. Eh? Saya pernah jawab. Uh, beberapa kali di mana di mana-mana je lah kan kita jawab soalan ni kita boleh tahulah kita punya stress level macam mana macam mana kan so this is the example of the stress 21 question from the uh, internet so i'm going to copy all of this stress question eh uh, into my question okey dan kalau anda lihat di sini pun dah ada skala kan uh, tapi skala dia pun berbeza nampak tak pernyataan kerap tidak langsung dan sebagainya so saya pun akan copy juga gambar ni senang eh uh, macam awak tak ada nak buat macam mana Buat sendi, sendiri ya. Ha, jangan, jangan, jangan buat macam terkebel kebel pula. Macam mana? Macam mana? Buat sendiri. Itu je. Okay. So, kat sini saya akan tulis perkataan. Sama juga. Multiple choice. Tukar kepada multiple choice grid. Okay. Ni saya ulang balik eh. Ni saya ulang balik. Yang ini sebenarnya saya ulang balik. Macam mana saya buat yang atas? Cara dia. Pertama. I'm going to choose multiple choice grid. And then I'm going to identify as question. So, question here is will be stress. And then I'm going to insert some sort of descriptions. So, description will be as follows. So, saya tulislah description yang berkenaan. Eh. Oleh kerana saya malas, saya malas nak tulis, saya akan copy paste je lah. Eh. Ha, menggunakan deskripsi nombor yang diberikan mengikut kekerapan, sila pilih yang sesuai. Itu saja. Kalau anda lagi malas nak buat macam mana? Anda tengok je lah yang saya buat ni. Ha, kalau anda nak try buat, boleh try buat. Tapi, saya galakkan anda try lah. Sekejap lagi, saya nak semak seorang-seorang. Pastikan anda tahu buat. Ya. So, lepas tu, saya akan klik butang yang color uh, gambar ni sebab saya nak masukkan Likert Scale. Eh? I'm going to insert the Likert Scale that already been uh, inserted into my system. Yeah? So, they are going to be presented as follows. Dan saya pun telah copy and paste kan tadi. Allah Masyarakat Muhammad. Saya dah copy paste. Lepas tu saya copy paste yang lain. So, saya akan hilang lah maklumat tadi. Betul tak? Poyoh oh, sangat. Lain-lain kau copy. Yang kau copy tu tadi hilang. Tak apa. Saya akan copy balik. Tak apalah, hilang-hilang pun saya boleh copy. Awak boleh copy. Awak kena type pada muka. <laughs> so, saya akan tekan butang Ctrl V. Dia akan tampal semualah ya. Cuma kat sini dia akan jadi kosong. Satu, dua, tiga. Finish eh. Ini contoh. Dah selesai, maka anda akan tekan satu butang yang color dia preview ni. Dia gambar Freemason ni. Ha, anda klik simbol Freemason ni. So, dia akan ada seperti ini. Dan anda boleh tekan butang yes dan anda boleh tekan butang next dan anda boleh lihatlah question A yang berkenaan. Ini contoh question A saya. So saya akan uh, masukkan maklumat seperti yang saya tunjukkan ini dan ianya telah siap. Okey. So saya akan tekan next. Okey, nampak? Cantik kan? Cantik tak? Ha, so kalau anda gunakan dalam phone pun sama jugaklah bentuk dia lebih kurang sama. Okey, ini contoh anda punya uh, borang yang mengenai stres tadilah. Saya main jawab jelah mengikut kesukaan hati. Dan akhirnya saya boleh tekan butang submit. So, apabila anda buat dan siap, pastikan anda tekan butang Freemason tadi untuk melihat apakah bentuk yang telah wujud pada question A kamu. Ya? Okey, selesai, selesai. Saya akan boleh tekan butang submit dan data ini telah disubmit kepada saya. Nampak? Ada respon satu. Nampak ya? Selesai tak selesai? Selesai. So, persoalan dia, macam mana cara kita nak sharekan borang ini kepada tuan-tuan dan perempuan? Cara dia, saya ulang, pergi kepada gambar preview. Bila anda tekan preview ni, dia akan keluar view form. Kemudian, copy link yang panjang ini. Dan pendekkan dia. Macam mana nak pendekkan dia, anda boleh gunakan uh, URL shortener. URL shortener. Okey. Ataupun anda boleh gunakan mana-mana shortener yang ada dalam negara dan dunia lah. Seperti bit.ly. 
bit.do ini semua adalah URL shortener yang membantu anda memendekkan URL yang panjang ini kepada yang lebih manageable. Okey, ini contoh saya letakkan saya punya form tadi dan saya letakkan something to do with the ADC T uh, 23 uh, SEP 23 contoh eh uh, sign up to get the link oleh kerana dia nak suruh sign up dia akan membuang masa dan mengambil masa beberapa minit dan saat dan saya pun tengah tidak ada masa saya akan pergi gunakan akaun yang berkenaan sahaja okey uh, sebab setiap masa itu adalah emas betul kan hmm, jadi saya akan masukkan sekarang borang yang baru ADCT SEP23, sign up to get your link. I no need to sign up. I already sign up with your account. Please do not become not very clever, ya? Yeah? Why bit.ly? Uh, just proceed because you are computer. Who asked you to become computer? I am the user. You are the computer. So, you need to do whatever that I ask you to do. Okay? Faham? Ah, bagus. Ha, dia boleh buat perangai yang bagus. Selesai. So, I can share the link to you. So, where you need to click this one lah, bit.ly ADCT September 23 and you are able to access my question app. And I also can create the QR code and the QR code are going to be ready to be published and used by all of you to become my respondent after this. Okay, faham? Faham tapi tak terfollow, betul? Ha, nanti you try buatlah mengikut uh, apa yang telah saya tunjukkan sebentar lagi. And then I minta juga You, all of you are going to scan this code and uh, you boleh scan dan tengok saya punya borang. Tapi jangan jawab borang kat sini eh. Jangan jawab borang kat sini. Saya just nak you tengok je apa jadi. Cuba try, scan sekejap dan tengok borang tadi. Dan jangan jawab dalam data tadi. Jangan jawab. Sebab apa? Ada sebab dia. Ha. Sebab saya nak suruh jawab dekat tempat lain. Dah sudah? Ya? Yeah? You need permission? Unit permission eh. Ah, unit permission ni maksudnya saya salah copy link lah. Ah, that is a very good story from all of you. Maksudnya saya bukan klik link yang dinamakan sebagai view form kot. Saya ambil yang edit kot. Sekejap eh. Saya ulang balik semula. Unit permission eh. Unit permission ke ataupun you need to... Um, oh, I cannot edit the link. Memang kena need permission lah. Eh? Link, destination, title, data, ADCT. Uh, ADCT, SEP 232. Oh, already uh, already use. Macam mana, macam mana? Dia tulis ni link dia dan juga pendekkan dan seterusnya jadikan dia link untuk uh, dibuat pendekkan. Uh, Proses pengambilan data. Okey. Oleh kerana you all bersemangat untuk me melihat borang yang telah siap dan tersedia dan ready untuk dianalisa. Saya jemput tuan-tuan dan perempuan untuk pergi kepada saya punya link tree. Anda pernah pergi kan link tree saya tadi? Dekat link tree saya ada satu borang namanya stress question F for ILKKM. You can click over there and then you are going to be prompt something like this. Dash 21 ILKKM. Please answer the following uh, question lah accordingly. Tapi awak nak answer yang ini ke nak answer yang tadi kan? Mesti awak nak answer yang tadi kan? Sebab yang tadi tu ada environmental factor kan? Hmm, Okey lah saya, saya ubah dia punya sharing mechanism.